so my awesome thing is Niantic is working with Hasbro mm -hmm. on a Pokemon Go style Transformers game. Hello. I picked the TechCrunch link because I, I was looking at a bunch of articles and I was trying to find something that, you know, had a little more. This at least has a couple like picture clips. Um, but more importantly, the first bullet in there is it's going to be called Transformers Heavy Metal. And there's a pre-registration page. So make sure <gasps> you go sign up. Um, it Hold does on. ask you for your email. It asks you for your birthday and your country. It's going to be pre-released in um, certain regions or select markets. I didn't know. I could not find which select markets were coming first. Um, <clears throat> but typically, you know, it's not the U.S., but but hopefully will be kept in the loop. It is going to be an AR style game. Um, you're going to be a part of the Guardian Network, which is a group of humans who have banded together with the Autobots in a war against the Decepticons. Um, and it's built on the same light ship platform that uh, games like Pokemon Go, Harry Potter, Wizards Unite, and the still in development Catan World Explorers is built on. Um, hopefully, it. I mean, this... I was I was hoping that you know a Star Wars game would have been around the corner next, but I'm totally cool with Transformers. I hope it does well. I, I know other other games have struggled in this realm against Pokemon and Harry Potter, um, but hopefully, based on the fact that this is backed by Niantic, um, it will drive people to the platform and it will keep it alive. I am interested. So, I, I mean, I think we're kind of at the point where we're uh, short, sort of um, taking that technology from our Pokemon Go and just applying licenses to it, right? So so they're like, and not to say it's cookie cutter, because I don't think, I felt like the Wizarding World Harry Potter one seems like it had a lot more going on with it, and that's why I couldn't get into it. Um, but... Uh, I mean, it's exactly the thing. I mean, they're just throwing brands at this thing, and I think it'll be it'll it'll be beneficial, and it's going to find all their their different audiences. So I well, feel like we've seen we've seen this tried with um they had the there was a Ghostbusters one. It wasn't mm -hmm. built on um no we had the me, we had a lot of the Me Too uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh copy cut copy cutters copy cutters copy yeah mm -hmm. copycats copycats yeah cookie cutter copycats that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Uh, show title <laughs> so um anyways and they're saying you know it, it's going that that pre-release or that early early launches the select markets is going to be like soon and then it's going to go global by year's end so even if you it's not going to be long before this is in everyone's hands so super exciting Awesome. Looking forward to that. Because, um, I mean, I haven't been able I'm, – I'm back to the traveling, but I've definitely not gone back into the Pokemon Go. I just don't have the energy the for it. You know? So much 